Dari, in uh, the next part of this video, we're going to try and attempt a Windows Server Restore. So first of all, I'd like a little message from our sponsor. What do you think, baby? Oh, oh, she's on the move. She's on the move. Right, she's had enough. We're going to go back to the computer and see if we can restore <clears throat> a Windows Server 2022 backup. So, to be clear, where are we? We've switched on the computer. Inside the computer, we have inserted the new hard drive, which we're going to restore onto. Um, we've plugged into the USB port a Ventoy capable uh, USB stick. And on that USB stick are just two ISO files. One is the Windows 2022 server ISO file, one is Gparted. And we're going to boot from the Windows ISO. So I'm going to hit return. Uh, this is a much better release of Ventoy than when I first used it uh, over over a year and a bit ago, uh, when it's still relatively unknown. So many choices now. I'm just going to boot in uh, normal mode. So you can see we've got <clears throat> Windows boot screen. I'm in the UK, so let's just hit the tab key and change to United Kingdom, then uh, Alt and N for next. We're going to repair the computer. It's Alt and R. We're going to troubleshoot. And we're going to do a recovery. So at this point we've got plugged into the other USB port the backup that was made before we took the hard drive out. Um, <clears throat> that's just a standard Windows Server backup. It's not on a schedule, it's on a once-off backup and I've done bare metal backup. So we're doing a bare metal recovery. Well, almost too quickly, <laughs> it's shown you that on the E drive, uh, I've got a backup that's been made at, on the 18th of May at uh, 3.52 a.m. with GMT minus, what, minus eight on the computer minis. So we're gonna select that. Does the mouse work? It does. Oh, so let's use the mouse, shall we? Uh, so format of repartition disks, select this to delete any partitions, exclude disks. So, well, one has to hope that the drive, um, so this sound disk is the drive that we've booted from. The backup drive has already been excluded and unfortunately there's two, there's two drives here. Um, the f one of them is, contains the four terabytes of data that I co copied over and in the worst case it will get blatted if I choose the wrong one. I'm hoping that the boot drive, which I would say is logically disk zero, is this drive. We'll see when we, when we, if it works and when we boot. So hopefully that's the, the data drive which contains all my virtual machines and this is the new drive I just inserted a second ago. Okay. Uh, Yeah, I think that's about it. That's uh, so my experience with uh, Windows Server backup and restore. It either works perfectly, in which case you're just laughing, or it just doesn't work at all. <laughs> I wonder which of those cases we're going to be uh, in with. Now it was about two hundred gigabytes. Um, that was backed up and the partition layout, I seem to remember had um, a Windows partition. So the drive was one terabyte, but the Windows partition was about 200 gigabytes. Um, and it, what it had done, it had, it had put the main bulk of the win it had a UFI boot partition, then the Windows main partition, then a big gap and then some other, then a recovery partition and other bits and bobs on the other, on the end. So it'll be interesting to see how it's, how it's going to put this. I don't really want those, let's say the recovery partition at the end of the four terabytes, uh, which is why I've put G parted onto this Ventoy disk. And if necessary, I'm hoping we can move them around if necessary.
and we have logged in. Let's just check the disk layout. So uh, luckily we've kept the X drive which contains all my virtual machines and as you can see we have got, uh, if I make that wider, so yes we've got uh, recovery partition, mm -hmm. EFI system, the C drive, uh, a small amount of unallocated another recovery partition which cousin wasn't really expecting um, and then the main allocated space so I have no idea what what this space is doing here but I would have thought I could move this recovery partition down to there and have this as one contiguous space so that's something I'm going to try off camera but basically it's been a big success so <clears throat> my thoughts are now uh, this is an external hard drive which I can, with the backup on it, which I can remove. Um, I do have room inside the chassis for one more 4 terabyte drive. So I'm going to have to do a little bit of money saving until I have the funds. And then I think this server, assuming it doesn't overheat, is going to be ready to go. <clears throat> this drive is so large that I should be able to fit not just a, a bootable Windows 2022 server system, but I could also conceivably fit a Linux system on here. Of course, the issue then would be that the Grub bootloader will be the thing that boots the system, and that's not remotely accessible. Now, this, that's, this system allegedly has some sort of remote management facility, um, but it's unclear how that works. So I think I need to get the remote management facility working first before messing around with adding another operating system onto the boot drive. But basically, I am very happy we have taken this drive and shown you there, which is a one terabyte drive. We've backed it up and then we've restored it onto the four terabyte drive. Um, I need to do a bit more burn in to see how hot this machine gets. So that's another very important consideration. There's no point in building a fantastic server if it can't stay online when it's working hard. But basically, yeah, all is well. Very happy. Thanks for watching.